Good morning, it's Riley here. Today is Wednesday, September 18th. Today for lunch we are having French onion chicken sandwich, steamed peas, and sliced peaches. There will be a meeting at 2 o'clock in the library on Thursday for those who signed up for or, in, or are interested in reading team. Attention all student council members. There will be a student council meeting Thursday, September 19th after school in Miss Young's room. Homecoming dance tickets will be on sale starting tomorrow, Wednesday, September 18th. They are available before and after school in Mrs. Young's room. Student Council will also be selling tickets during lunch periods. Tickets will be on sale from Wednesday until Friday, September 27th. Tickets cost $8 per person or $15 per couple. No tickets will be sold at the door. The dance is taking place at Anthony's in Richland on Saturday, September 28th from 7 to 10 p.m. Only seniors are permitted to drive and there are only 30 spots available. Parking spots will be distributed when you purchase your tickets. Parking spots are first come, first serve. Attention juniors and seniors. Voting for junior and senior class officers will take place today during your lunch periods. Mr. McLean will be at the Votech lunch and both Mr. McLean and Mr. Culp will be at the junior senior lunch for voting. Conwell Memorial Medical Center is pleased to invite eligible students from area high schools to participate in the Fall Career Day on November 5th from 7.30 a.m. to 12 noon. Eligible students must be enrolled in grades 11 or 12, be 16 years of age or older, have a GPA of 3.0 or higher, and must demonstrate a strong interest in pursuing a career in the medical field. Applications are available in the high school counseling office. Applications are due to Conwell Hospital by October 4th. Requests are filled on a first-come, first-served basis. Please submit your application early. Junior High Forensics practice will be held after school on Tuesday and Thursday this week in Mrs. Page's room. Hope to see you there. A representative from Conwell Medical Center will be here to speak with students during Core Plus More today. Any junior or senior who is interested in the medical field and would like to speak with this representative, please see Mrs. Spangler and Mrs. Ponchak for a pass. Attention History Club members, there will be a brief meeting after school tomorrow. Please try to attend. High School FCA gathers every Thursday in Mr. McLean's room at 7.45 a.m. All are welcome to attend. There is no sign up to be in this group, just come. We meet every Thursday. See you then. Attention Wimber Ramblers, save up your Rambler bucks because the PBIS store will be open on Friday. Make sure you do not spend all of your Rambler bucks because we will be having our first quarterly incentive at the end of October and it will cost five Rambler bucks to attend. Stay tuned for more information related to the PBIS store and upcoming incentives. There is a sign up sheet in the library for anyone that would be interested in playing junior high softball or junior high baseball in the spring. Please be sure to sign up during your lunch period. The sign up sheet will be up until today. That's all for now. Have a great day. Good morning. We had a bit of a chilly start this morning, but we'll have plenty of sunshine to warm us back up. Today's high temperature should be in the upper 60s. Fall is right around the corner, but this weekend temperatures are going to feel more like summer. This weekend we will see temperatures in the mid-70s with Sunday's high near 80 degrees. With a very little chance of precipitation, this weekend is looking good for all outdoor activities. America's favorite sandwich is honored on September 18th with a slice of cheese. It's National Cheeseburger Day. To celebrate National Cheeseburger Day, gather some friends together and grill up some burgers with cheese, of course. This year's team is very experienced. We didn't have any seniors on the roster last year, so we're returning uh, 11 starters and 13 letter winners. So we're very excited about the experience that they'll bring, um, not only on the field, uh, but the, just the intangible things about coming to practice and being focused and being determined. Uh, all those things aid in on success for game day. I think last year was a great learning experience because it was the first time that the guys on this team had to earn it for themselves. Uh, before that they had relied on some of the older players on the team so last year these guys were able to take ownership for the team uh, and they won two playoff games, got us to the district title game and so we're looking to get back to that point again. Goals for this season, uh, one obviously is just to earn all of our success, nothing is going to be handed to us, so that's something that we uh, talk about quite often in training, just everything that we do in the training session should be able to transition over to the game, and we're hoping to get back to district championship game, win a district championship, and I think a realistic goal is for these guys to move beyond that point this year as well.
I'm Nick Dawn. I'm James Sherman. And we are the Bad Boys. Thank you for your time, Joe. What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Good morning, Wimber students. Every year, September is Suicide Prevention Month. With an understanding suicide is the second leading cause of death for individuals between the ages of 15 and 34, all of us play a vital role in helping ourselves and others get through their darkest moments. Over the course of the next few weeks, all of you will be introduced to the five concepts that will help each of you understand preventative measures. The five action steps for communicating with someone who may be suicidal are to ask, keep them safe, be there, help them connect, and follow up. Now let's take a look at the action steps. In the third segment of our action steps for communicating with someone who may be suicidal, we will simply be there. Yes, be there. We all want to feel as if we belong and are part of something. We want to matter. This is crucial for someone with thoughts of suicide. Why? Because being there for someone with thoughts of suicide can be life-saving. Increasing someone's connectedness to others, limiting their isolation, both in the long term and the short term, has shown to be a protective factor against suicide. Being there could be being physically present, speaking with them on the phone, or any other way you can show support for someone at risk. As you give this kind of support, listening is very important. Find out what and who they believe will be the most effective sources of help. If you are unable to be physically present for someone with thoughts of suicide, talk with them to develop other ideas for who may be able to help. When someone is hurting, you can help. You can give them a sense of belonging. You can be there. You can be the one to. 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 Don't let yesterday take up too much of today. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> 